Hello everyone, and welcome once more to the Sage 2023 Showcase. This time we got Nicholas the Sea Urchin. Uh, this game caught my attention because his art style, it's a little hard to tell on this tile screen because of all the CRT effects, but this art style is very standout. Hopefully we can turn off the effects because it actually looks more interesting without the effects on. Um, but I saw screenshots, I was like, what, what are they doing here with this style? This, I want to see how this animates, so that's kind of why I'm here. It looks like a platformer that takes place underwater, or a sea urchin, because why not? And, uh, I don't know what else is going on, so we're gonna find out. Uh, I do have an overview here, let's see what it says. One day, Nicholas was hungry, so he decides to make a seaweed burger. But something he didn't know is that the burger was the most perfect burger that was ever cooked. Suddenly... <laughs> Look when Dumbo. Seriously, why are these? Why is it like every Sage game I play? There's got to be a character with a ridiculous name. Look at this. Suddenly, Look when Dumbo breaks into his house and steals the burger. Don't let that bastard easily get away with your burger. Fuck a bastard. Control Nicholas and travel through the in immense and amazing underwater world. Nicholas is a sea urchin, a fast sea urchin with the ability to run, jump, wall jump for certain walls, and even shoot spikes from his body. Use this to your advantage. Aside from that, he's a bit lazy and loves food. Loken Dumbo, a Dumbo octopus, villain and leader of the sect of the genuine moon. That is a really fancy title for a cartoon villain. Seriously, the, he's, he's of the sect of the genuine moon. What the fuck is the sect of the genuine moon? <laughs> That's a really... That's a really ornate, like, cult title. What? He is evil. He has a fancy top hat, and he also stealed your burger. Not stole. Stealed. It says so right here. Lokenbot, Loken Double's apprentice. He's a robot similar to his creator, and was made to be the next leader of the sect. But he's also used by Loken Double as his own slave and punch bag. Ouch. Punch bag? You mean punchy bag. Alright, well... <laughs> this, this story is already off the rails. So, of course, before we begin, if you like the video, do think about giving a like. If you haven't subscribed yet, think about doing that as well. But if you really want to help out, you know where to go. Come on over to Twitch, because we're trying to reach partner. Uh, but we need more viewers to do that. So if you want to come by with us, lurker to talk, think about doing so, because it does make a big difference. And we'd honestly love to have you. We also have a pretty cool Discord community if you want to check that out. I have a cough link if you want to help directly monetize my content. And I have a merch store if you want to buy some cool merch. Link's in the description. Check them out. If you feel like. And also, yeah, I feel like this year's Sage is trying to troll me. I really feel like a lot of creators are coming out with their own original fan games. And they're like, yeah, uh, yeah, so uh, my character's name is Shukakarushuguda. And he comes from the world of Shukakashubabda. I hope you can pronounce that any creator that plays my game. Because that's how I wrote it. Like, it feels like I'm getting trolled over and over again. <laughs> like, like, what is going on? Coral Coast Mission A. Let's do it. I'm Nicholas, and I'm hungry. I'll eat this burger ah, burger ah, Loken Dumbo. Hello, I am your local enemy. I'm, I'm, and I'll steal your burger. Loken Dumbo. At least I can pronounce this one after a moment of thought. Nicholas. Hey, MF, that's my burger. Loken Dumbo. Good luck, sea urchin. Good luck on not having a burger. Okay. So yeah, look at this art style. Can somebody help me find the word for this? This art style, it makes me... I know there's a word for this art. It almost feels like a weird sort of clip art style. But I know that's not the right word for it. What is this art style? Can, somebody, can anybody tell me? Cabbages. Oh, wait, it's probably seaweed. Cabbage seaweed. So, how do I shoot spike? Okay, that's how. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> oh, he's very dead. <laughs> flash. Oh, you know what? Yeah, you could... Yeah, this is like a flash style. It's like a very specific flash style, right? Secret? Oh, nope. Oh, I see. We recharge ammo on the upper left. Okay. Wait, was that just a bombless pit? No, but I did... I did, did land on the platform at just the right time. Camera? How do I get up there? Wait, maybe... 
Oh yeah, okay. Your gun is one of those guns, yeah. You know, it lets me, you know, propel. Fucking rude. Wait! You know, I would really expect that jumping on an enemy would work in this game. Given I'm a fucking sea urchin. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I only have, like, the active reload spikes, but... I would just like to point... Okay, correct me if I'm wrong, but wasn't there, like, a platform there at some point? <laughs> what happened there? I can run with shift, okay. The trolls are interesting. Like, they're doing their own thing, which I, I kind of dig. You know what, I'll just stay down here for now. Is there an options menu? This is very California. What does that mean? This is very... Oh, I'm sorry, this is very quiet. For some reason, I mixed together the last two chat messages. I was like, this is very California. I mean, maybe it's California, to be fair. Uh, I just turned up the music a little bit. This is Max, though. It sounds fine enough, I suppose. Volume. Wait, I can't. You have to go. <sighs> That's annoying. It appears that you must hit escape to leave the menu. Despite this otherwise working on controller just fine. That's annoying. Actually, it's. Like, it's pretty well animated, actually. <laughs> Jump. Okay. We actually fall slowly, which makes... I think I just took damage by killing that crab, but I'm not entirely sure why that happened. So that was interesting. Why did I take damage doing that? Wait, I have a theory. Nope, that didn't... Nope. Try to run over that snail! I did. I guess it was a ramp, I, I suppose. So you're just a lot of spines, but it isn't venomous? Unless Australia, California. Well, lethal the venom. Ah! So what you're saying is, there's venomous sea urchins in Australia and Canada, but there's sea urchins other places where they aren't venomous. Oh, I'm gonna die. No, I'm fine. Perfect shot, never mind, we're good. <laughs> I think I'm at one hit point, by the way. <laughs> I'm actually... I actually saw something interesting. I want to go back up here. There we go! I had a feeling I could do that. I don't know, I'm just like, aggressively collecting seaweed. Though honestly, it looks like... again, it looks like a cabbage. I'm not sure how I feel about that almost sending me the spikes. <laughs> How am I gonna get up there? Oh, I know how.
Okay, I'm not actually sure how. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, not quite enough. Alright. Oh! No. That's wall. Okay. Sea urchins and spines are mostly rockish tech. I can't try, try to remember what I know about sea urchins. I don't think I really remember much about them. Sorry, you're a marine nerd. Yeah, that, that much is very obvious when you start when you start talking about stuff like this. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, I have a plan. Nah, not enough. I... Alright. <laughs> there's a... There's this is a cabbage there, I, I mean... I did it! I staggered the shots such that I could get up there. Okay, if you stagger your shots just right... You can do a lot more climbing than I thought. Because you fall slowly, so... Do it just right. What's that crab doing? <laughs> it's just kind of there. Alright, I'm gonna break out the level at a time now. It's a very big level, a lot of places to go. Level design feels kind of, uh, what's the word? Level design feels open and boring, you know? I'm like trying to explore here. Oh, you can jump on some of these. I'm trying to explore here, but like. I don't have to, I guess, but I'm trying to collect all the cabbages. I mean, it's probably seaweed, but let's be honest, it's a cabbage. Actually, I guess it could be also considered lavish. Lettuce, but cabbages are funnier because of, you know, Avatar. Avatar has proven that the cabbages are the best form of humor, so... Is there any way down there? Guess not. See what looks like cabbage in real life. Is it in bundles like cabbage? I thought, it, I thought seaweed was always in, like, wavy fronds, effectively. Aha! There's no point to that. <laughs> but aha! By collecting kelps. Oh, it's kelp! Wait, by collecting kelps, you can generate your- wait, what? Oh, okay. You're gonna generate your HP? How? Is there a button or something? Because it sure doesn't seem to be doing that. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> I heard I got it. <laughs> oh no. Come back! <laughs> so I'll get there myself. Hold on. Yep, you know, I'm gonna say it right now. The main problem with this. That's a pit. <laughs> I lost all my kelps, didn't I? Oh, for fuck's sake. You know what? Let's just go as fast as we can. I have now officially lost interest in collecting things. The level design is way too open, and I don't know... Like, it's just it's just very, very open level design. Which honestly makes me wonder, like, why? Okay, that was cheap. I realize now why I'm getting hit, but I don't understand why I'm getting hit. 
I killed that fish, but he was already starting to generate his projectile, so it still shot out and got me. That's bad design. <laughs> but also, yeah, the level design is really open and boring. It's just, it's, it's huge. Like, the space, there's tons of space in the level, but a lot of that space is just empty space. It's very boring. That's nice. Can I you? Hello? Oh, that took a while. <laughs> Ooh, my spikes hurts at AF. That stupid octopus is fast. <laughs> Look window. Look on Dumbo. Stole down, Nico. No way, I want my burger back. <laughs> that first image is such a fucking reaction image. Look window. Okay, cool, but check this out. My apprentice with it is new mobile that they got from Toxic Waste Camp. By the way, it'll beat your ass. <gasps> oh. Okay. <laughs> Fucking. Alright. <coughs> this game doesn't take itself very seriously. Um. Alright, time to speed run because I don't care about the game anymore. <laughs> like, I don't know. It's just. It's weird. The, the level design made me bored. I guess it's the best way to put it. Run, I was doing that anyways. Oh, I see, you collect piece, four pieces of kelp. If you select, if you collect four pieces of kelp, it fills the little meter and then heals you? Wait, what's my health? I thought that, I thought that green meter was actually my health. It's not though, apparently. Oh, the, pur okay, purple. Okay, the purple part. That makes more sense, I guess. Not the clearest HUD, honestly. Also, I'd like to note, my ammo is the top, lower left, and lower right spines. While they do have a different color than the others, the other spines are just for decoration on that on that HUD meter. I hate that. The 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 spines that point uh northwest, northeast, and south, those are just set dressing. They don't they're not ammo. It's accurate, but it's a HUD element. It doesn't, one, HUD element doesn't need to be accurate. Two, if you really want to have the HUD look accurate, could we have, like, the not ammo spines be, like, grayed out or something? So, like, a significantly different color. Like, they're slightly darker, that's it. They took the same color, slightly darkened them, and thought, oh, that's good enough. No, it's not. You gotta make it more clear that's not your ammo. <laughs> In my personal opinion, at least. Oh, that's cool. You're lucky I, I figured out staggering the shots. <laughs> Fuck you, enemy. Wait, 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 wait Meta, you, you you having a moment, or Machi, you having a moment? <laughs> Good luck. Thanks. That's literally just... Okay, fine. The Wilhelm scream was part of the song. Oh, it is? Oh, man, I wasn't even noticing... You know, at this point, I gotta say... At this point, I don't even notice Wilhelm screams because I... They, they do nothing for me, so I don't even notice their existence at this point. It was the hurt side. Oh, by the way, you had to shoot the shield. It, like, I guess that's why it was flashy. It was kind of hard to tell, though. <laughs> How about a distorted Wilhelm scream? What did I not hit? Wait, why am I not hitting? Alright, fine. Wow, he's just kind of taking it, isn't he? Uh, <laughs> that's a that's a beach ball. That should not do any damage to me, but I'm gonna ignore it anyway. So. I guess he lost the first one. He had to replace. You 
Yo, I gotta say, by the way, I'm gonna make a little comment. I, I haven't been commenting on this, but the music is... Yeah, that does hurt you. I'd like to note that the music is... It's... It's reasonably well composed. But in saying that, it, it is... It is boring. <laughs> like, it's got a reasonable amount of compositional skill, but like... Oh, now he has a saw blade. Is he just gonna keep switching until I win? On first listen, it sounds like it doesn't want to know what it is. Yeah, that's exactly it. It's one of those situations where I feel like the musician is competent at mu musicking, but they didn't really have much inspiration, so they just kind of threw notes together. Right? Oh shit, okay. I guess we won. Like, it has- no, it definitely has some Genesis sound font usage. The music is... Like I said, it's it's competently composed. It's composed by somebody who knows how to compose music. And it has a few musical chords here and there that are good. Like that trumpet. But listen to how that song ended. We had a trumpet that went... Ba -da -ba 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 -da. And it was like, okay, pretty good. Little jazzy thing. But how did, what was its last note? Its last note was... Ah, da. And I think it was... Da, da. It was a minor key. It was a minor key with no resolution. I've I've learned a little bit about music theory. That that whole a lot of the music doesn't resolve. It it's like a song that ends a, like it, it ending on on like a few notes before the note you expect it to end on. That can work sometimes in music, but you have to be no you have to know what you're doing. That was a victory theme ending on a minor key with no resolution. That's shit. I'm sorry, but you don't do that with a victory theme. Like, I beat the level. Therefore, let us have an unresolved song that ends on a minor key. Like, what? Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Without, like, a reason, you know? <laughs> but, um... Again, music rules are made to be broken. But, that is if you know what you're doing when you break the rule. <laughs> that is if you have a purpose to break the rule. So, yeah, the music has this sort of aimless vibe and it has an unresolved vibe. It's just not very good. It's not very well composed. Like, there's copy to composition to it, but it doesn't end up being a good soundtrack because the music doesn't really resolve. Like a few of these tracks are fine. Like this one's just a good like backing track. Anyways. Oh no, Loka Dumbo has jumped to the judgment hole with my burger. What the fuck's the judgment hole? Uh, I just wanted to eat. Here we go fast. End of demo. Thank you for play. Thank you. Thank you for play. Thank you for make, I guess. <laughs> Music theory. Um. Like, let's just listen to this for a second. Wait, I have a question. Why does the entire team that's being credited here, why why does none of them have the music credit? Look. Did the music just coalesce in front of them or something? Like, where, where's the where's the music credit? Why the hell was there an old silencer sound? Not only an old silencer sound, Bruce, that was literally the silencer, the silence pistol from uh, Goldeneye. Slightly under additional help. Why would you list the soundtrack under additional help? Hold on a second, you're right, probably. Like, music is kind of important. Also, that doesn't answer the question of is it Rat Themated or Trick Ram? Here, I'm gonna look this up. Hold on a second. I'm going back to the Sage page. See if I can figure this out. Make it stop. Yeah, it feels like this music too. Like, why are there silencer sounds? Because. Why are there particular rap voice chord stuff? What do they mean by make it stop? 
eh, because. Again, it, it's it's compositionally competent. I'm sorry, it's it, there's a competent level of skill play this together. But it doesn't... It doesn't... It doesn't flow. It doesn't resolve. It doesn't understand what it's doing. It just feels like you threw random shit together. Right? Uh, yeah, they're trying to go for a style, but like, without really understanding what they're doing, you know? I'm trying to be so harsh, by the way. It's just... Oh, here we go, here we go. I just looked this up. It's no Santi. I'm gonna turn this down, I just realized how loud it was. Uh, so I just looked it up. No Santi 066, director, artist, programming, story, musician, tester, anything you want. It's his official credits on the uh, Sage page. Not sure why, he, so I guess the etc. there. That was supposed to imply music. I don't know, man. It, it kind of tells me something when... When... It kind of tells me something when the game's director considers the music a low enough priority that they just put it under etc. I don't know, man. Celebrate the fact you're the musician, I would normally say, but... It's kind of weird to have the music under etc. You know? It's, it's under a lump term. Which really makes me think they don't really care that much about their music. You know? Like, why would you put it under ex like, just music is such a big deal with video games. I feel like making a promise statement of, I made the music, is important for a game. Because the music that, like, makes or breaks a lot of games, you know? See, I feel like this is just weirdly thuggish with the silencer sound effect and... Feels like they're trying to use all these voices. Again, it, it feels like if you listen to this casually, you might think to yourself, oh, that seems pretty good. But then you like start analyzing it and you see some problems. Anyways, the game itself, by the way, if you're wondering why I'm talking so much about the music and not the game. Oh, we unlocked something. The reason I'm not talking much about the game is because it kind of bored me. So the music is what I hooked on to to talk about because music theory is interesting. But yeah, like... The game was pretty boring. The levels were way too big and open. Uh, collecting the Kel seemed fun for a high score thing, maybe. Until I realized the moment I die, I lost all the Kel I collected in that giant level that took forever to collect Kel in. <laughs> like, that's not fun. Uh, the levels were boring. Uh, the graphical style did kind of catch my attention, but I, I feel like it was used fine, but wasn't terribly creative about it. Um... And that boss fight was just kind of slow. It just it, yeah. So the music was the most interesting thing for me to focus on. That explains to explain why I focus so much on it. What's this, by the way? Uh, Yamhead says, "I here I am th is thinking the game music is overrated. Like a lot of times I mute the end game soundtracks so I can listen to something else." Well, that's not because that's not because game music is overrated. I mean, you're not alone, by the way. I know a lot of people do that with games. Yamhead. It's not because game music is overrated. It's because you're playing a lot of games with bad music. <laughs> I'll just put it very simply. I completely support your decision to mute a game and replace its music with your own music sometimes. Because a lot of... Unfortunately, there is a lot of times where doing that will make the music more enjoyable. Make the game more enjoyable because you just put on some better music. You put on some superior music, you know? Um, but the truth of the matter is it doesn't have to be that way. If a game... If a game and its creators really care about the soundtrack, then you would not have any reason to turn off the music and replace it. Because the music itself would make you go like, oh man, I really enjoy this, I just want to listen to this, you know? Anyways, let's go look at some pictures. Fun fact! <coughs> the game has been in development since 2021. Okay. Well, I make a lot of noise when I move, don't I? Listen. It's like I'm, I'm like a rusty gear or something. It's not that long, you know. Not super long, no, but it, it's still a couple years. That, okay, I kind of like that art, actually. Makes the main character look kind of neat, actually. Looks like a 90s mascot now. I mean, having a sea urchin as the main character is interesting. I'm gonna go over here. <laughs> what the fuck? I like how the leftmost image is this like fucking JPEG here. Look at this. Look at this artifacting. 
I got some designs. Nicholas El Erizo de Mar. Hmm. Oh, by the way, my comment earlier about the cooking thing. I, I just thought it seemed kind of pretentious the way the guy did it. But if some if if a, if a foreign language is going to present foreign language text at me for something, I'm going to try to pronounce it properly. Um, just, I'm not going to be pretentious about it, though, like not like that other guy. <laughs> also, I know every time I do that, I know I'm probably mispronouncing part of it. I'm just trying my best. I don't actually know what these words mean. The the menu words, the words in gray. That looks a little sus right there. The hell is this thing? Oh. Oh my. I I, I prefer dark matter sea urchin. Ugara's yeah, I think you're right actually. The other two, I'm not so sure. Yeah, because I've seen that word before, so that would make sense. Hmm. Hmm. Why does that look like a waddle do? Enemies. What do you guys think about the? Whoa. What do you guys think about the game's art style? I'm not sure if it's. I'm not sure if I like it or not. Like they kind of did a good job of it actually, but like I'm not sure if it's a good style for this sort of game. Oh, hey, it's a uh, fucking horseshoe crab. Weirdly, that's not that... You know, horseshoe crabs are pretty... Like, that that image at the top, by the way, the part in, the part in black. That's a horseshoe crab, pretty sure. Or is that a spider crab? It's kind of weird that this is not the first Sage game of this year where we've seen a very unusual, obscure crab in one of the games. We saw, we saw a... Was it a spider crab or a horseshoe crab that was in that one... Uh, Frogger style game with the with the bee, the wingless bee. I think it was also a spider crab actually now I think about it. Why is okay, spider crabs are super obscure. Why did I play two sage games this year with spider crabs in them? <laughs> it's kinda weird. What's, what's going on here? Oh I see. You're breaking you're 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 trolling Wikipedia, I see. Nicholas the Sea Urchin, the something burger movie. <laughs> Stolen burger, probably. <laughs> so there's some SpongeBob DNA in this, I suppose. Not much, but there is some. Mostly just because setting. Okay. Not sure we had to zoom out, but alright. Just looking at everything. Why is he so sad? You, you gotta join the GMS. You gotta... Something? Pray the moon? Yeah, you, you if you want to join the GMS, you gotta pray the moon. Otherwise, you'll be a loser like him. Loser, I only have one hand. That's not true, you have one claw. Not one hand. But alright. Now I get the joke of kelp. Wait, what is the joke of kelp? Also, what do sea urchins eat? I assume they just eat C4 detrius, right? Effectively. Huh. Why did I shoot that? What did that do? There's some personality to the character though. Like, they're like shifted around, looking around. When I move around stuff. Like, I there's some personality here for sure. Just Freddy Fish, they can eat de debris and kelp. Oh, they can eat kelp. So, why was there a target? Check out the top of the room for any more targets.
Okay. Okay, that's really... Yeah, that's the other thing. Okay, you know what another reason why I don't like these giant levels? I just realized what I have a problem with, and I just realized it right now. The camera's too zoomed in. Here's an example. There's a spike pit there. Can you guys tell? I can tell just a little bit because the camera bounces when I jump. You can see it. Also, yeah, I think we found a secret stage. But yeah, I, I think that's the main problem. This camera's way too zoomed the hell in. Thus, these giant levels become even more, you know, incomprehensible because you can't see much of them at any one time, you know? By the way, it's really hard to shoot diagonally. But shooting diagonally is also the easiest way to move forward while, while you know, bouncing with your spikes. It's like, it's a really fine port. Yeah, like... I'm just testing the stick, hold on. Oh, wow, yeah! I would like to point out, you see how I'm... Like my, I'm using analog stick ray. Right? See how I'm bouncing between uh, left and diagonal left, diagonal down, left. Um, to go from diagonal down left to left, I barely have to be pressing left. I'm actually more or less. I'm very much still pressing diagonally down and left. It just, auto, it just very easily reads left as soon as I'm anywhere in the general direction of holding left on the analog stick, which is nowhere near just left. I'm definitely still holding a diagonal. So, I was correct. The diagonals are very finicky. Um, uh, like, it's hard to explain without showing, like, a controller display showing how much I'm moving the stick, but yeah, it's it's basically the, the, the zone for diagonal left and diagonal right. Yeah, up here too. It's very, very small. Uh, up, down, left, and right have very large uh, zones, but the diagonal directions have very small zones. They're not equal. They're not equivalent. <laughs> Could avoid it on my part by complete chats. Yeah, falling feels really bad with the camera. Yeah, I think the camera zoom is a huge part of this game's problem. So yeah, that's like, for instance there, I wanted to shoot the crab diagonally down. I wanted to do it like that. I couldn't, because the dead zone was, the, the zone for diagonal is just so small. It's really hard to aim that direction. So, yeah, that really messes with the gameplay, I must say. Oh, that's not a w okay. Oh god, it's hard to tell what's a wall sometimes too. I'm pretty sure in an earlier level, this dark background was actually used as a wall, so I was kind of perplexed this time. But yeah, I think we found a secret level for some reason. Oh. Thanks for not really making it clear that I was running away from Slane. <laughs> I was just like, look at the light at the bottom, like, oh, that's the light. Also, the music again! It did da 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 Are you gonna build into something? Are you gonna go with that? Is that gonna become a, like, a, a dominant melody? da 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 Okay. Okay, you did, like, a one-note variation on it. Okay, you're just repeating over and over again. Yeah, that's... That's it? 
You're just repeated over and over again. Like, this is my point of the music annoying me. Like, I think there was, like, a very bare no, no change occasionally on it. But, like, it's so annoying because, like, it doesn't go anywhere. Like, the music doesn't develop. And it doesn't always resolve. For instance, I would do... I What I would do? That's not a bad starting riff. There's nothing wrong with that riff. It's just it doesn't go anywhere. So I would do, like... Like, I just threw that out of my ass, right? Like, I was just, just on the top of my head there. Just something that actually does something would be nice, you know? Like, that, I just, I just, I just made that up on the spot. But that, that's already better than whatever they have here, right? I feel like you could do something sinister in a minor key, like, da 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 yeah, there, there, there's a good thing. A little cadence shift and a minor key usage. So that, again, I can just pull this out of my butt and still produce something more interesting. I don't have the same musical competence of like actual creation as these people do. I will give them credit on their competency, but like, yeah, I mean. Just to show you that I can just, I can just freestyle and come up with something. Hey, 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 hey! This isn't annoying if I use this over and again, right? Hey, 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 hey! B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. No, you know, I get, you know. <laughs> Anyways, that was Nicholas the Sea Urchin. I'm sorry for bitching about the music so much. I'm kind of in a musical mood right now, I think. So I just really wanted to focus on it and address my problems. I think I presented them. I think I presented my points fairly well. Gameplay-wise, it's otherwise a very boring game, so the music is just what I focused on. It's, there's not much here. There's a little bit of personality here and there, like with the main character, but I don't know. The art style doesn't quite work, and the levels are boring. The gameplay is boring. Shooting the spikes. Feels like it could be an interesting acrobatic thing, but then the dead zone on diagonals is so small that, or not the dead zone, just the zone, the input zone for diagonals is so small, it makes moving around, bouncing around with the spikes a lot harder to do. So it removes the fun acrobatic element that could be there. So yeah, it's just, it just feels very, feels very lame. I think lame is the best word I could use for this game, and I'm sorry for that. It may be a little mean, but it's just boring and kind of meh. Uh, Nicholas the Sea Urchin. Bang it and take it, as, uh, as, as Dose Dove Luckily would put it.